There can be a lot of hype around NAPLAN, you know, in the media, from other parents, from the kids in the playground. But we've just tried to make sure that the key message that our kids, you know, hear is that NAPLAN is just like any other day at school. It's just like any other experience. It's nothing to be nervous about. Um, it's not one of those high stakes tests or their, their educational future is not going to hang in the balance as a result of NAPLAN. I think it's really important uh, that parents know what their son or daughter uh, is doing at school, be it the NAPLAN test, be it a, a talk, a presentation to the class, be it a swimming carnival, there's a whole range of things that young people may be confronting, uh, entering into for the first time. And, and I guess that parent-child relationship then is to work with them to make sure that they understand what's there, how it might work, how they can go about approaching it, and if they have any concerns, how they can manage them. We didn't actually know that our granddaughter was under stress until the morning of the test when she woke up and she was quite upset about how she was going to perform, which filled us with a lot of concern because we didn't know where she was getting messages from that would cause her to feel that way. Um, had we known earlier, we would have been asking the, the teacher what was happening in the school to make our, make our granddaughter feel like that. I was um, quite alarmed when my daughter-in-law came to me reasonably distressed asking me whether I, she needed to purchase the additional books or get her some tutoring um, as she'd heard it in the playground that this was the way that the children would achieve during this NAPLAN test. I'd say here quite bluntly we don't encourage practicing for NAPLAN. Uh, the, the thing that's going to best prepare young people uh, to um, be ready for the NAPLAN test is the sustained, broad, rich teaching and learning program that schools will have in place, complemented by a bit of familiarisation uh, to make young people familiar with the form of the test itself, to make them familiar with how uh, things might be managed on the day so that when they come there, they're ready to focus on showing you, uh, their teachers and the rest of us, what they're able to do in literacy and numeracy. And then on the back of that, teachers will be able to use that information to build upon that and seek to continue their skill, their understanding in literacy and numeracy. What really Michaela's teacher needs is an honest snapshot of where Michaela is at in class. And what her teacher is giving her in the classroom should be more than sufficient for her to be able to attempt this assessment. Of course, any new event, and for young year three students, sitting down and doing a test uh, like this one uh, might be a bit different. And, and this, the, I'd encourage all parents to, to speak with their son and, son and daughter and encourage them to sort of, this is about you demonstrating what you can know. It's, it's a good thing to be doing and, and work with them so that they are focusing on demonstrating what they can do, focusing on doing their best. In the period leading up to the tests, I spent time with my daughter just talking to her about what they were, what they were uh, talking particularly about their purpose, and I try to emphasise to her that this wasn't a competition, it wasn't a race. What this was about was finding information on what she was good at and things that she could improve and that the results would go to the teacher and that would mean the teacher would be better able to help her at school. The most important thing about NAPLAN is to remember what it is, what, what its context is. If people understand what NAPLAN is for, particularly if children understand what NAPLAN is for, then they'll know that they shouldn't be anxious, they shouldn't prepare for it, they should just go in and do their best.